But what makes Coach G unique is probably um, just his passion for for the team and for and for us as managers because um, he's actually like our he's our go-to guy. So whenever there's a problem with us or we have questions or concerns, we go to Coach G. Um, and so on that level, we've definitely we have that like special connection with him and that special relationship. You know, working with him is is he's so on top of his game. You know what I mean? He he puts in the effort. He is prepared um, you know, for, for everything. I, I handle, I work with him a lot with the weightlifting component, uh, with the football team. Is, uh, he's my direct um, report when I, when I talk to the football staff. And um, I mean, you know, anything that I need, you know, I ask him, boom, it's, it's right there. It's immediate. Um, so he is extremely well prepared uh, for anything. I would say Coach D taught us not only how to work out, but how to persevere through hard times in life and how to always like be the person you want to be no matter what. Uh, what I love most about teaching phys in the physical education department is the interaction with the students. Um, you know, my, my day mostly and my year mostly consists of dealing with, with football players and, uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's nice to get out of the office and, and interact with uh, the rest of the student body. Um, and get to know them on a, a different level than I know my athletes, my players. Um, obviously, I love the class that I teach, working with them on fitness and, and health and wellness. Um, again, pr even preparing them for, for lifetime fitness, you know, things that they can use for hopefully the rest of their life um, and, and that they have, you know, they have fun in the classroom with me as well. When you see him on the field, he's completely different from what you see him in the office. Like, on the field, he's really like he's yelling at the guys he's like really trying to get them pumped up and encouraged um, to do what they need to do and so it's really funny when we when he gets out of the field and he comes in the office and he's just like really welcoming and really warm and such a genuine person these guys that he's recruiting are coming in I mean they, they almost seem like they're getting faster and faster you know with with each class you know from recruiting standpoint just the people that he's bringing in um, I mean, like I said, that's what we, you know, in order to reach that level, you know, competing for the national championship, he's doing it. You know, he's bringing those people that are getting better and better every year. But once, once students are here, you know, ultimately our, our responsibility is to see them through for four years, see them graduate with a degree, and uh, hopefully uh, they have a positive football experience where, you know, they're improving as a football player. So training them as a, as a quality athlete here and, and again that they, they end up hopefully seeing the field and playing for us and representing Salisbury University there. I came back to Salisbury. Um, there was an opportunity for a job here and I think uh, if you talk to most coaches in the, in the profession, um, I think they all have uh, a desire to go, back to go back home, go back to their alma mater and, and, and help that program be successful. 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, 100%